Hey, welcome to Square Body Stuff. I'm Chad and me and old Cream Puff here. We're going to head to Springfield to the fairgrounds again this weekend or today because uh, we're going to the same place that the truck uh, truck show was last weekend. Uh, but they're having a big flea market, automotive flea market this weekend. So we're going to head up there. <laughs> you can see my dog pestering the cows and horses out there. They like to play. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go up there, see what they got. Might bring home some goodies. Got my little buggy loaded up so I don't have to carry stuff. I made that mistake one year and I had bought a couple pairs of headers and those were, they, were, they get heavy after a while. So got my buggy and we might have something else come up later in the video. Uh, if I got time, I may stop by and, and visit somebody. So we'll stay tuned on that. It may or may not happen. Depends on the time frame because uh, I'm going to have to get back. And get some sleep so I go to work tonight. But anyways, we'll get on down the road and see what they got at the swap meet. By the time I get done with this trip, Cream Puff will be a brand new truck. The odometer's getting ready to roll over. Well, we made it to Springfield and to the fairgrounds, just waiting to park. We got just a little over about six miles left until we roll over in brand new truck. Yeehaw! Check this thing out sitting there in the parking lot. I actually see a square body. There it is, a little GMC. Pretty cool. Well, at least I didn't do what I did last time I was here. I got out of Cream Puff and realized I locked my keys in the truck. Luckily, my vent window on the passenger side, the bottom hinge is broke, so I was able to move the window out enough to get my fat arm in there and unlock the passenger door. But I'm good this time, got my keys. I learned to lock my door from the outside with the key so I don't forget. We're gonna make our way in here. We got parked on the back 40. And see what all they got. Square body. Nice goat coming in. Yeah, since it's on my way, I figured I'd swing over here and just kind of walk around this bad boy. Pretty slick looking truck. There's another random square body that's just sitting in the parking lot. Yeah, this may not take long because there's not near as many vendors as what there normally is. Usually this is packed full. Uh, so, I haven't really seen anything too awful worthy of looking at. I do see a trailer full of the Sinclair dinosaurs. Maybe I'll take one of them home. Not a whole lot here. There's a couple square bodies just over the hill. I may check them out. I'm not sure what what the deal is. No short bed, K10, GMC. Looks like it's for sale. And a few GM square body odds and ends but there's a golden white one over there I'm gonna look at here in just a minute all right everybody uh, that golden white 73 that I was peeking at earlier I've actually got a little bit of video of it from last weekend from the truck show I thought I recognized the truck but I've actually got to talk to the gentleman about the truck get a little bit of history so I'm gonna walk around it and kind of yak at you about the the whole thing all right is it 73 Horse Custom Deluxe, half ton. He has lowered it just a little bit, I think two inches. Uh, it doesn't, it originally a 307, but it's been replaced with a 350. Uh, but other than that, it's, he's trying to keep it mostly original. Uh, I think he said it came from Texas. So it's, for 73, it's still got a little bit of rust here and there, but it's uh, survived quite well. Still got the spit on the fender. I know in the later models they put them in the glove box, but on the earlier ones, uh, the 73 I had was, it was on the fender also. It's a really, really nice looking truck. He's redone the interior. New panels. Uh, he made the, the kick panels. And the insert on the dash. 
very very nicely updated just a very nice clean truck uh, so I'm not gonna try to crawl underneath there or anything but underneath is about the same as the outside actually probably less rust I'm having a hard time seeing with my glasses on so this camera is not very steady just a very cool old truck the gentleman was nice enough to let me just crawl around it and look at it um, it's changed hands a few times through the years but he's got it and making it his own right now so hope you guys appreciate that I'm gonna move on and see what else we can find and now, these aren't square bodies this is too cool to pass out a whole trailer full of dinos dinos whatever you call them the Sinclair dinosaurs <laughs> wouldn't that be fun to have Sinclair we got our hometown has got one in front of their store this is cool they run across to C30 here. It looks like just no work truck. Someone's brought up. I don't know if it's in the show or what. I'm gonna get a little video of it. We'll walk around this one too. Yeah, I'm done. I got a few parts. I'll show you here in just a second when I load them in the truck. Uh, there's wasn't much to be had, I guess. I was hoping to maybe find some cool small block headers, either some zoomies or something cool to put on Squeaky. Don't really have anything for sure in mind on him, just as long as they're uh, bigger tubes, inch and seven eighths, maybe two inch. Uh, so if anybody's got something like that, either want to donate or sell cheap uh, let me know also looking for a good seven cord or eight cord deep uh, oil pan hopefully something with the windage tray or some screens in it built in a good drag racing oil pan for right hand dipstick for a small block those are the two things I was hoping to maybe find um, but I didn't find any of that so I can't think of anything else off the top of my head we'll go get everything loaded in crane puff and i get to get a hold of somebody and see if they're going to be around and maybe do some more video here's my big purchases for the day uh, of course tail light for cream puff here because it's busted and i don't have any good right hand ones this has even got the trim that's where i backed into him with squeaky backed into squeaky with him last year i got video on that uh, ashtray for Buddy, my crew cab, uh, emblem for Buddy, uh, AC brackets for Big Block Chevy, because eventually I'm going to be putting a Big Block and Cream Puff here, and I want to put the AC compressor and everything on. So. Uh, and then some aluminum underdrive pulleys for small block, long water pump that will be going on the little 305, nitrous 305 slash 340 stroker build i'm gonna let it cream puff air out for a minute let the cool breeze blow through him. it's kind of sultry inside so i want to add another little fun fact that i found out um i got a little bit of video of a blue that blue gmc k10 uh, is for sale uh come find out that is actually a guy that i've i've met a couple years ago he deals in a lot of square body parts um i got the ashtray and that tail light from him but I also bought a one of my square bodies from him a couple years ago. Uh, I've only I don't even know if I've done a video on the truck or any showed much of it. It used to sit beside the shop for a long time. It's a little '79 uh, C10 short bed. Uh, it's one we bought for my wife, and we're planning on building her her own little um, get around truck. It was originally a '57 diesel. Well, today while I was talking to him. Uh, I found out I think I've located the original engine because I told him that it'd be, it would be kind of cool to put it back original the 5.7 diesel I know they're not the most reliable they're not the best best thing but um, 
since it's gonna be my wife's vehicle, she she drives. I I say she drives like a little old lady. Uh, she drives real easy, so and that's that's that'd be fine for the little 570. So it'd just be kind of cool to have that truck somewhat back to original. Come to find out. The fellow that was with him today, uh, his uncle used to own that truck, and he is pretty sure that he knows where the original engine and maybe transmission is, uh, and actually a whole nother donor truck, or parts of a donor diesel truck that I can get any other odds and ends off of. Uh, and last he knew that he actually got the engine running, it's been a while back, so who knows now. So I thought that was kind of interesting. We may be working a deal out in the future uh, and doing a 5.7, diesel build in uh, what we call the truck Hank that's his name so stay tuned for that hopefully something will come of that I just thought it was kind of interesting all right stop grabbing me a bite to eat got a hold of some folks uh, with another YouTube channel that I met last weekend at the uh, cruise and show uh, their channel is called the ugly truck experience uh, go check them out I'll try to remember to put a link to their uh, their channel down in the description box below uh, they're the ones that built, or I think they just done the LS swap on a yellow 78 Bonanza that was at that show. One of my favorite trucks that was there. So we're going to go take a look at it, take a look at their shop, uh, just kind of get to know them a little bit. They're they're close by. We're about maybe 70 miles apart. So, you know, who knows? Maybe we can do some more stuff together in the future uh, or just maybe help each other's channels out. I'm not sure how it's going to go. Never really done anything like this as far as, I guess they call it a collab. So. We'll go visit them for a little bit, and I'm not really sure where it's going to go, but we'll get there and see what they're up to. Heading to our next stop, and it's about to happen, everybody. Glad you could be a part of this. It's going to be kind of cool. Don't happen all the time. Check it out. watching the odometer it rolled over another hundred thousand miles I don't know if that's the first hundred second hundred it might be the third hundred I don't know uh, anyways just rolled over got a brand new truck again all right we've made it to the ugly truck experience of course uh, if you watch this town and you know I've never really done a whole lot of this before as far as like a collab with other people so I don't think they have either. Their their channels that's pretty good size, but I already see like three square bodies so far. So so we've got something going on. We'll get out here and see what Miss Emily's gonna wash. Is this the car wash? Can you wash the patina? Get it nice and shiny. Oh yeah, I got them lined up. <laughs> All right, we're here at the Ugly Truck Experience Garage with Jerry and Emily. Uh, I'm gonna kind of turn over there to them in here in just a second, because uh, we're here to talk about their YouTube channel, uh, their, their shop and what they do, and also talk about this 78 uh, Bonanza? Bonanza, yeah, Bonanza. Because uh, I, I met these guys last weekend at the truck show. Uh, There's a little bit of video of this truck. Uh, got to talk to them. They're about an hour away from me. So I thought well I'll just come up and visit them and maybe we could do some collaboration and I think we've got some stuff in store Maybe for the future to do together. So stay tuned for that, but I'm gonna turn it over to them Here we got Jerry and Emily with the ugly truck experience uh, their YouTube channel go check them out there I'm gonna kind of turn it over to them let them explain what they do here at the shop uh, And what they've you know obviously done with this the guy here. That's a uh, the main focus I wanted to come look at and get a video on, but you know, kind of get these guys some recognition and hopefully do some more stuff with you guys in the future. Excellent. Uh, well, we do everything mechanical, um, foreign, domestic, yeah. uh, mechanical, electrical, air conditioning, as long as it's not uh, paint and body work or whatever, that's what yeah. we do here. So, uh, so like on, on our channel. Late, re recently, you're going to see a ton of Chevy stuff because that's what we've been working on. But, yeah. um, but we we'll, we do everything. So we got a Volkswagen back there, a Triumph that, sitting just there. Just that and, image right um, there gives you an idea. Of what yeah, because their their shop everything. goes 
quite a ways back in there. I haven't actually got the personal tour yet, but I do see a square body. Yep. Uh, I think that engine right there is the engine that's out of this yellow Bonanza. Yep. Um, so they work on a little bit of everything. Right. Yeah, we do it all. Yeah. Um, on this one, um, that it, like I said, it originally had that 350 in it. It's got an Edelbrock E Street kit on it. It developed uh, a few leaks here and there. So yeah. um, the guy who drives this, uh, kind of like our usual uh, customer, he he just doesn't. He he's got a regular day job and he doesn't have time to mess around with his trucks, you know. So. He wants to get in that thing and have it start and drive it to work and have no issues with it. So, yeah. Yeah. so we did a, a 350 LS swap in it, uh, 4L60E transmission, and uh, that should solve most of his problems. Now, is it is it a 4.8 or 5.3? 5.3. 5.3. Okay. Yeah, LM7. Yep. Okay. But yeah, this is this is a, also a customer's truck. Uh, yeah. They're, I think they're you guys are done with it and they're going to be picking it up here in a few days. So. Yeah. Uh, I was lucky enough to be able to work my schedule around coming up here and visiting them and get a good look at this truck because I didn't there's a lot of trucks at the show that I didn't I wanted to get a better view of or yeah. angle of but yeah. Uh, yeah. this thing he actually he let us borrow this for that show but his main reason for bringing it back to us is he wants the accelerator pedal fixed on it and that's one of the problems with doing an LS swap for somebody else is they're used to that accelerator pedal being exactly the way it used to be. Yeah, because this is a fly-by-wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So by the time I moved the pedal, uh, and I tried to put it in the exact same po position that it was, but it, it's just not going to be. And then, so then they get in it and it feels different. And yeah. So now it's up to me to, to fix that and try to make that feel a little bit more normal for him. And uh, that's one of the issues with doing stuff like that because he's driven this truck for quite a while and you get used to it like that. And now he's got to get used to a totally different uh -huh. beast, you know? Yeah, different setup. So, but he appreciates that, that, that it goes much quicker when you step, yeah. on, the, <laughs> step on the pedal. So uh, we use the original harness, all the original stuff that come out of a 2005 uh, Suburban. Suburban. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And yeah, fly by wire. He wanted uh, a cold air intake, and um, that was the toughest part of doing the whole job, <laughs> I think, was trying to make that cold air intake uh, fit yeah. nicely and uh, function. Are you able to, shit. the air conditioning and everything functional? It doesn't have AC on it. Okay. Um, um, I think I haven't talked into letting me do that. Um, there's an 84 sitting back there right now that that's what I should be working on right now. <laughs> putting air conditioning in that. that you got me cool. bugging you. <laughs> so, uh, we appreciate it. This is our first celebrity appearance. Yeah, yeah I'm not, no, I'm not a celebrity. Just, first celebrity guest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, you're the closest we've had to a celebrity. <laughs> So. Now you're like me, you kind of get stuck back in the woods, and if, uh, if yeah. I'm your celebrity, well. <laughs> it's usually like 70 year old farmers that stop yeah. in here and yeah. <laughs> uh, they'll, they'll pull up a chair and, and talk for a while. But we, we appreciate it. So. We'll, we'll just take a walk around this, and I'll show you guys a uh, little well, better view of it. Let me zoom out just a little bit. There we go. I mean, it's factory ride height. It looks like mostly factory original paint. I could tell in the hood there was like a little touch up, but yeah, it's you know. getting a little light on the paint. And yeah, we know all about that, don't we, Cream Puff? Yeah. <laughs> of course, I I can nitpick a little bit because it's got a '80s model rear bumper on it, but. You know, I mean, I know it's not, that's just me being, being me and picking, nitpicking stuff, but I know it's not your truck and not, that's not what you had to do anything with it, but right. I remember. Oh, no, I built, I custom built that bumper. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I did it with a hammer and a vice back there. He hand from it. Yes. Yeah. So, and, uh, oh, I wouldn't have known that. Yeah. It's, uh, it's interesting. Well, the front bumper? It's got to be 
of course. You put door panels on it from LMC, I think. Yeah, um, there. And, and uh, I think that's always done to it, actually. The rest interior looks. I put uh, interior on it. Well, this, the seat is have an 80s model, too. The. 80s model didn't have the or the 70s model didn't have the the pockets and the cutout huh. didn't have the seat belts went through the back of the seat but it's out of a 80s model too but it's a very clean looking truck i'd be proud to own it that's for sure even with the ls in it <laughs> especially since these guys did it because in our area they are the best I don't know. I don't because know. i've known them for what a week now and an, <laughs> <laughs> the best you've met all week. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it is a very clean truck. I'm I'm very glad to be able to bring it to you this channel. Uh, I'm going to try to do more of this kind of stuff on this channel. You know, uh, get more involved with uh, different trucks, so you don't just keep seeing the the same old crusty ones that I've got. Um, like I said earlier, we're going to try to do some more stuff with these guys. Because yeah. we, uh, you know, last few videos I done a cream puff, done the front end all new uh well he's got new ball joints from a couple years or year ago something like that idler arm pitman arm tie rod ends and i done um, just my hillbilly way i do stuff with the string on both sides to give it a little bit of an alignment as far as the toe in toe out it drives great uh of course jerry here and he was one of he was one of my viewers and <laughs> that that then yeah that expressed to me that He's like, I hope he gets that thing aligned, you know, is what he's saying when he's watching the video. And I'm sure there's a lot of you that, you know, is like, I really need to get aligned. And I do, but honestly, around my area, I don't have any alignment shops that I trust. Uh, so I've known Jerry for a week now, actually six days. So I trust him with my truck. And uh, we'll probably be doing an alignment video in the near future. I'm sure we can work that out and get an actual real alignment on that truck which i've or i don't just check it. yeah at least check it and maybe we get to see how close i got and all i did all i adjusted was the toe in uh the rest of it which uh, the damage on the the right front i think may have done something with uh, the alignment on the pasture side maybe maybe not but jerry here will check it out uh, see how close i got see how bad off it is as far as drivability it's fine uh but we were discussing earlier with the uh the big tires on the back and the rake of it that does throw off uh, the alignment just a little bit so i can get it aligned to the the angle that the truck is sitting at at right height now so it, it i'm sure that he could change a little bit of something put a little shim here and there work his magic and make it drive just that much better right. yeah sweet. Right. or emily could do it and we can sit there and watch there we go yeah, i'll cry the whole time though <laughs> cry the whole time <laughs> Most people cry. <laughs> so. All right, so I think we've got a pretty good walk around of this truck. Uh, hopefully, the customer. I'm, I can't see why he wouldn't be happy with it. Uh, you want to fire it up for us real quick? Yeah. I wish we got to hear it. Uh, we'll see if it starts. Uh -oh. Yeah, this is the test. It's always. I was told it's always a will it run after we work on. And if it's not, if it don't start, it's her fault because she's turning the key. Exactly. No, what kind of exhaust does it have on it? Um, it has it's two and a half inch pipe all the way, you know, from the manifolds back. It's got regular exhaust manifolds on it, and then it has uh, thrush turbo mufflers on it as well. And uh, I'll get down here. You may have to help me back up. I can't, can't really see them up there. Oh well. I've always thought it sounds really nice. It does sound real good. So. All right, so I think. Uh, they're going to take me for a little tour of their shop. We're going to hang out some more. You guys on this channel will be seeing more of these guys. And maybe you'll be seeing me on their channel. Uh, you know, we'll see what we can do. It's it's really cool uh, getting to know some more people. Uh, getting out there and, and meeting new people because of this uh, YouTube channel. And because of these trucks. That's the other good thing about these trucks. 
Uh, they've got some more square bodies around here that um, I'm not sure. Is that one yours? Nope, that's no. a customer. Customer, so maybe we can catch it and do a walk around a bit later before they get done with it. Uh, they have some an old C10. This one, you need to go to their channel and subscribe so you can see what's going on with this truck. I'm not going to give anything away, yeah. but it's, yeah, it's very interesting. Watch their video when they put it up about this truck. Leave a comment. Uh, I think everybody's gonna gonna have have some fun with that. Uh, she's got a little yellow one back there, yep. and Jerry seventy three or seventy four seventy four. Yeah, it's got the uh, the drip rails on it. Yeah. So they've got several trucks around here that you know maybe we can get back in time and you know show you some more of them. There's always plenty of trucks to look at. I'm gonna try to do some more of that on this channel. But for now, we're gonna end it off. Till next time, y'all keep your square bodies rolling. We'll catch you later.